Hi there, I'm John Leach, and you're watching Arc Fishing. This video is sponsored by my book, Diary of a Fisherman, Volume 2. Links will be in the description below of all the online bookstores of where you can purchase my book. Alright, welcome to another edition of Arc Fishing. I'm your host, John Leach. It is a gorgeous Saturday. It's 91 degrees, a little hot out. I'm down here by a creek um, here in the state of Pennsylvania. Um, um, it's the month of July, it's 2023. I'm going to start out using a Jude Loomis. Let me see what I'm using here. It's been a while since I use this rod. It's a GL3. Um, it's a six foot light action spinning rod. I'm using a Daiwa reel. I'm using four pound test suffix monofilament. And then I'm using, I'm going to be using this little 1.5 inch black and silver minnow. I don't remember the brand. It's got a little fork tail on it. I haven't used this in a long time. We're going to do some micro fish. I got a little split shot on there too, the snap swivel. But I haven't used that lure in a long time. I used to catch a lot of little dinks and I'm just, I'm not after trophies today. I'm just gonna come out here and get whatever I can catch. Just catch some dinks, fish, different species of fish, uh, different species of fish. It's really hot out. The river's a little high and muddy yet. The creek looks like it's pretty much normal, slightly stained. So I'm, I gotta come to the creek. It's too hot to fish the lake. So I'm just going to have a bite. So I'm gonna go in here with a whole pair of sneakers and shorts to get nice and wet and cool off. Fish on. It's a crappie? This, this is a rock bass? Oh, I think it's a rock bass. That was a crappie there for a second. I'll take a rock bass. All right, skunks out of the way. I got the first fish of the day. I had to switch over to another lure there. That first lure I threw on wasn't working. It didn't have no action to it. I think it's more for vertical jigging. All right, first fish of the day. Beautiful rock bass. Thanks for the fight, buddy. Catch and release. All right, so what I'm using, I took the split shot off. I am using a uh, white, I think it's a 2 inch, 1.5 or 2 inch, and I think it's called, yeah, it's called a Thumping Shad. I think it's made by Berkeley, but I could be wrong on that one, but I know it's called a Thumping Shad. It's white, they make them black and silver too. I'm using a chart juice jig head, which is attached to a snap swivel and 4 pound test suffix. Alright, let's hope we get some more on. It's a good start. Fish on. I think it's either a small mouth or a large mouth. I might be a large mouth actually. No, that's looking like a small mouth. I gotta play them out because I'm using four pound test suffix mod. I'm using light line. Man, they feel so big on light line. It's so funny. It's an awesome fight on light line. It's a decent fish, whatever it is. It's either a small mouth or a large mouth. I'm thinking a small mouth. Yeah, it's a beautiful small mouth. Oh, man, I love the way these fish fight. I love catching smallmouth, it's my favorite. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Oh, he inhaled it too. Oh, that's more like it. Look at that. In a trophy, but I'll take him for a creek. That's a nice smallmouth for a creek fish. Look at that. He inhaled that lure. <laughs> inhaled it. And that's a hungry fish. Thanks for the fight, buddy. That was fantastic. Alright, let me get another shot of you in the video all right beautiful smallmouth bass out of the creek here in pennsylvania catch and release i cast to the other side right in front of that tree branch and halfway over he must be laying on the bottom he came up and nailed it i swear he hit it the shame i had the camera on at first because as soon as he hit it he jumped straight up in the area leaped it was a nice jump but i had the camera on yet <laughs> that was cool let me cast it again see there's another one over there That was cool. He inhaled that lure. He wanted it. Let's do one more cast over there. Yeah, right there's why I landed. Right there. That's where I casted and halfway across he nailed it. That was cool. <laughs> a 
Well, I caught a rock bass, caught a small mouth. I've seen a bunch of suckers. I've seen a whole bunch of baby largemouth in here. So that's good. See a rock bass. Yep, another nice rock bass. I'll take it. I'll take them all day long. Nice little one too. I mean, not little, little, but for, for a small creek, I will take it. Look at right in the corner of the mouth. I mean, that was a good hook set. Look at that. Nice healthy rock bass out of Little Creek. Catch and release. Oops, slipped out of my hand. Come <laughs> on. Right out in the deep in the middle again. I'm telling you, laying out in the deep in the middle. I can't tell what it is. I think it's a rock bass. <laughs> yep, definitely a rock bass. <laughs> That's fantastic, man. Nice rock bass. So I'm glad I came down to this creek. I wanted to go to the Skulka River. But it was slightly higher and a little muddy yet from all the rain we had. All right, little rock bass. Catch and release. Again, you hit it. I can't, I'm casting the other side, bringing it through, and, and right in the middle, I come up off the bottom and nail on my lure. This water, it, it feels like it's fantastic. It feels like bath water once you get used to it. It felt chilly at first, but really, it's really warm. So I think these fish are down in the deep pools, laying on the bottom. Fish on. Might be another rock bass. There's a small mouth of rock bass. I think it's a rock bass. Oh wait, it might be a, what is it? A bluegill? Oh, beautiful bluegill. Nice. All right, getting different species today. Got some rock bass, small mouth, and a bluegill. Check that beautiful bluegill out. All right, catch and release. Okay, so that tree branch already came out of that tree branch, I think. I'm not sure what it is. Let's look at a rock bass. Oh, a nice fat one, too. I cast over that tree branch over there, and that's when he nailed it. I almost got hung up. I just I got lucky on that cast, actually. Oh, he's hooked right to the nostril. There we go. He was hooked good. He wasn't coming off. Woo! There we go. Rock bass out of the local creek here in Pennsylvania. All right, catch and release. Thanks for the fight, buddy. <laughs> Good deal. I had two hit it prior to this one. I saw the one sideswipe and short strike it. I'm using the same lure but different color. I switched over to chartreuse. Still the same thumping shad though. Look, he, look at this man. He inhaled it. Let me release him and I'll show you the lure I'm using. It's the same one as other, just different color. Hey guys, check out this awesome portable mini charger that I just got in the mail. This thing is really cool. It's lightweight, it's portable, and it fits in your pocket. It comes in this cool little box. It comes with this USB charger. You plug this end in here to the charger. You plug this into your laptop or your home computer. It'll charge us up to 100%. And then you take this and you can charge multiple devices on it, which I'm going to show you right now. So check this out. First, we're going to charge an iPhone. So you pull this tab off right here like this. And you take your iPhone, and it's that simple. Check that out. Now my iPhone is being charged. I can also charge an Android smartphone. So I just put that tab back on there. And then I'm going to pull this one out right here. Just like that. And then I'm going to plug this in here like this. And now I'm charging my Android smartphone. But watch this, this gets really cool. I can charge two phones at once. So while my Android smartphone is being charged, I can also plug in my iPhone, right like that. And now I am charging two phones at once. Such an awesome feature, but it gets even better yet. I can unplug my Android smartphone and I can plug in an e-tablet. Not only am I charging an e-tablet, but I can charge an iPhone and an e-tablet at the same time on the same mini portable mini charger. What an awesome feature. I will put a link up here where you can get right to their website. And I'll also put a link down in the video description where you can check out this awesome portable mini charger. Let me show you something else really cool too. So when you're all done with it, you just put this back the way you got it. Pull this tab through here, put this on. Put in your pocket and you can take it with on the go 
take it anywhere, any place. It fits right in the pockets. It's lightweight. It's convenient, and it's great for charging different types of electronic devices. Again, check out the video link up here, and the, and there'll be a link down in the video description below. Hi, fish. All right, I gotta release this fish before he dies. Come on, swim off, buddy. There he goes. He's swimming. He's swimming. Oh, man, I almost. Yeah, I took a chunk out of it. Might still be usable though. Let me see. Show you what I switched over to. Of course, it's the only one I have on me. My white one's the only one I have on me. I'm, I want as far up as I want to go, so I'm going back downstream. I want to see if I catch some of the same fish on the same lure but different color. So now I'm using again a two-inch thumb and shad, but it's chart choose the chart choose jig head. I don't remember if I bought this one like this. I might have dipped this in that chart choose garlic stuff. I, I can't remember. It's been in my tackle box for years. But let me make sure this lure still works. Oh yeah. All right. I was afraid I ruined it there for a second. Cast all the other side to get him. He was actually in the shallow. Which that surprises me. Not sure what it is yet though. Now he's fighting. Oh, there we go. That's probably a small mouth. I'm surprised he was up there in the shallow. Yeah, I think that's a small mouth. I was getting how he woke up. <laughs> yeah, I love the way. Look at that drag going. I love the way these small mouth fight in the rapids. Oh, so much fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Beautiful small mouth. I'm only liking that chart choose color right in the corner of the lip. What a beautiful hook set. That was perfect. Couldn't ask for a better hook set and fight on that one. Ow, stop poking me. Oh, geez, guys. Fighting, they'll quit, to, they'll quit to their fight. Look at that beautiful smallmouth bass out of the creek. All right. Catch and release. I caught him all the way on the other side. Ow, he just poked me again. Oh, he's freaking poking me. Anyways, I caught him all the way on the other side in that shallow back eddy. And now, once again, I'm throwing the same lure as earlier. It's just chartreuse instead of white. It's a two inch thumping shad with a chartreuse jig head. I'm not sure what size that is, to be honest with you. Been sitting in my tackle box for several years. <laughs> All right, guys, I gotta get going. Girlfriend just texted me, said she's on her way to my place. Just got back to the truck. It was a good day of fishing. I lost count. I think I caught at least 10 fish. Probably 10 or 12 or close to it. Didn't catch any trophies or monsters, but I wasn't after, I was after them. I was after uh, anything I bit. I was a micro fishing using four. So, in case you missed it in the uh, intro, I'm gonna show you again what I used, and links will be down in the description of what I used. So anyways, I'm using a G Loomis GL3 six foot light action rod is what I'm using. It's black, um, full cork, full grip. I'm using a Daiwa reel and the brand is called Revros LT1000. Um, that's what I'm using. I'm using a four pound test hooks monofilament. I'm using a two inch thumping shad. I started out using a white one. I waited all the way up to a certain spot. I stopped, I changed over to chartreuse one, weighed my back down the same areas caught some of the same fish and then I also caught other fish I didn't catch on a white one so the white and the chartreuse both work I know they come in white I know they come in black and silver I think they don't come in this color if I remember correctly I bought a bunch of white ones I did them in that garlic chartreuse dip that you can buy I forget I forget what the brand is these two have been in my tackle box for probably last I don't know three to five years at least they've been in there for a while um, so I figured I'd get them out and use them again I used to catch a lot of fish on these years ago so that's what I used today. I had a really good time. Water. I noticed in the shade the water was cool, but in the sun it was felt like bath water. It's very refreshing. It's 91 degrees out, so it's hot. All right, I gotta get going. I gotta go home and shave, shower, brush my teeth, get ready to go out to eat. My girlfriend and uh, I had a good time. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one.